Hi, honey. I'm home. Hi, mom. Have you ironed the clothes? Yes, mom. Of course, I've ironed the clothes, and I vacuumed the living room. And have you done your homework, mom? I've been busy ironing the clothes and vacuuming. I haven't had time. Sorry, honey. It's just I've had a long day myself. Interview One. Good morning, Mr. Ali. Thank you for coming to the interview. My pleasure. Okay, let's begin. First, have you graduated from college? Oh yes, I studied English and history. English and history. Very good. Okay, have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I think I have visited about eight different countries. Eight. What is the most interesting place you have visited? Venice. I love Venice. I've been there three times, and I never get tired of it. The museums, the canals, the sense of history—it's amazing. Very good. Have you worked as a tour guide before? No, not really. I have taken friends around museums that I know well, but I haven't had a paid job as a tour guide. Okay, that's not a problem. Now, a practical question: Have you passed your driving test? No, but I've taken driving lessons. I'm going to take my test next month. Okay. And one final general question: Who is the most interesting person you have met? Hmm, <laughs> that's tricky. 
I've met a lot of interesting people. Mm, possibly my father. Your father? Can you explain? Well, he's worked in so many different places, and he's read so much. I really admire him. But then, of course, I would. <laughs> he's my father. Indeed. Okay. Thank you very much, Ibrahim. We will get back to you on Tuesday. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Interview 2 Good morning, Mr. Reed. Thank you for coming to the interview. Sure. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's begin. Have you graduated from college? Sure. I majored in chemistry. Chemistry? Okay. Now, have you ever worked as a tour guide? Sure. I worked in Yellowstone Park last year. I was one of the guides on the Adventure Trail Tour. That was cool. I really liked meeting all those people. Yellowstone Park, right. Speaking of people, who is the most interesting person you have ever met? The most interesting person I have met? Well, I once met Earl Grave. You know, the quarterback for the Bulls? Great guy. I really admire him. Earl Grave? Okay. And have you ever traveled abroad? Uh, abroad? No, it's kind of expensive, but I'd like to. Okay. Have you passed your driving test? Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll contact you next Tuesday. Thank you for coming. Sure thing. Interview 1 Good morning, Mr. Ali. Thank you for coming to the interview. My pleasure. Okay, let's begin. First, have you graduated from college? Oh, yes. I studied English and history. English and history. Very good. Okay, have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I think I have visited about eight different countries. Eight? What is the most interesting place you have visited? Venice. I love Venice. I've been there three times, and I never get tired of it. The museums, the canals, the sense of history. It's amazing. Very good. Have you worked as a tour guide before? No, not really. I have taken friends around museums that I know well, but I haven't had a paid job as a tour guide. Okay, that's not a problem. Now, a practical question. Have you passed your driving test? No, but I've taken driving lessons. I'm going to take my test next month. Okay. And one final general question. Who is the most interesting person you have met? Hmm, <laughs> that's tricky. I've met a lot of interesting people. Hmm... Possibly my father. Your father? Can you explain? Well, he's worked in so many different places, and he's read so much. I really admire him. But then, of course, I would. <laughs> he's my father. Indeed. Okay. 
Thank you very much, Ibrahim. We will get back to you on Tuesday. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Interview 2 Good morning, Mr. Reed. Thank you for coming to the interview. Sure. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's begin. Have you graduated from college? Sure. I majored in chemistry. Chemistry? Okay. Now, have you ever worked as a tour guide? Sure. I worked in Yellowstone Park last year. I was one of the guides on the Adventure Trail Tour. That was cool. I really liked meeting all those people. Yellowstone Park. Right. Speaking of people, who is the most interesting person you have ever met? The most interesting person I have met? Well, I once met Earl Grave. You know, the quarterback for the Bulls? Great guy. I really admire him. Earl Grave. Okay. And have you ever traveled abroad? Uh, abroad? No. It's kind of expensive. But I'd like to. Okay. Have you passed your driving test? Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll contact you next Tuesday. Thank you for coming. Sure thing. I have. I've. Have you. Have you. You have. You've. Has he. Has he. She has. She's. Number one. Has she left? Number two. Have you finished? Number three. Has he read this book? Number four. Have you done your homework? Number five. I've never been to the USA. Number one. Has she left? Number two. Have you finished? Number three. Has he read this book? Number four. Have you done your homework? Number five. I've never been to the USA.
Hi, Pete. I haven't seen you for a long time. What's new? Lots. I quit my job with CompuSoft, and I've started my own computer business. Congratulations. When did you open the business? Eight months ago, and it's going well. Great. And what about you? Things haven't changed much. I'm still working at the bank, but I've bought a new house. It's on Fifth and Main. Wow, nice neighborhood. Yeah, you should come round and visit sometime. Will do, when I have some time.
From inside a spacecraft, the Earth and space look beautiful. But outside the spacecraft, in space, it is a different and far more dangerous world. There is no oxygen to breathe, and there is dangerous radiation. Also, temperatures can drop to minus 120 degrees Celsius and rise to 120 degrees Celsius. But man has conquered this environment. In order to survive in space, astronauts have to wear spacesuits. The spacesuits are made from a very strong material and it is filled with oxygen so the astronauts can breathe. The first person to leave a spacecraft and walk in space was Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov in 1965. He walked in space for 12 minutes. A few months later, astronaut Edward White became the first American to walk in space during the Gemini 4 mission. These early spacewalks were intended to discover if it is possible for man to survive in deep space. They were successful. Man can survive in space. Now, spacewalks are an everyday part of the space shuttle missions. Astronauts take spacewalks in order to do jobs that they can't do from inside the shuttle. For example, they have fixed the solar panels on the Hubble Space Telescope, and they are the construction workers for the International Space Station. But still, spacewalks are dangerous. Astronauts work in pairs, so if one astronaut has problems, the other astronaut can help. They are connected to the spacecraft so that they cannot float off into space and lose contact with the spacecraft. It is not easy to work in a spacesuit. It is difficult to hold tools in the big gloves. Also, the astronauts are weightless, and this makes it difficult to work as well. So how can the astronauts practice their spacewalks on Earth before they go into space? The answer is underwater. At NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, the astronauts can practice jobs that they will later do in space. Their spacesuits are adjusted so that they do not sink to the bottom of the tank or float to the top of the water. They are weightless. They spend a lot of time practicing in the tank. For every hour that they will spend walking in space, they spend 10 hours practicing underwater. As NASA moves forward on the maintenance and construction of the International Space Station, spacewalks will continue to be important.